are being forced to drive down to the barn today because it is freezing cold and we have a lot of stuff to bring with us. We have Gabby's saddle in the back. We have She's Sophie's that in the barn. saddle in the back. Yeah, we got all the saddles and we have a muzzle. We have a, what's it called? Muzzle. We have this muzzle here. So you guys might remember, some of you might remember when I bought this for a penny. It was because I wanted her to have like the benefit of the big huge field with grass, but I didn't want her to have all the grass. I was worried about her. And maybe I bought it for Finn. I can't even remember. No, I bought it for Stella. Think? Bought it for Stella. I bought this for Stella. That's how old it is. And it's in great condition. Anyway, a friend borrowed it in like October? October, I think. Anyways, um, he was trying to introduce a new herd to his he was trying to introduce a new horse to his herd and one of his other horses was having a hard time with it and he was lunging and trying to bite this new horse and his theory or his idea was that if he put a muzzle on his horse that was trying to bite that it would prevent him from biting the other horse, but still let them work through the dynamics that they needed to do, that they needed to work through to allow this other horse to integrate into the herd. And so he just returned it to me. He's had it for a few months. He just returned it to me. And I asked him, did it work? And he said, yes. What's super interesting to me is that I do it completely different. When we add a new horse, we go so slow. We were trained to throw the horse in, make sure everybody has food to keep them distracted and let them work it out. But that never worked for us. And clearly that doesn't work, didn't work for him either. But what we do is just go really slow. We put them together, we give them food, we let them like hang out for a little bit, we watch them, and when things get crazy, we separate them. I think it's a super unconventional way, just like I think this was kind of unconventional, but it works for us. And it might take us a month, it might take us two or three weeks to integrate a new horse into a herd, into our herd, but the fact that nobody gets hurt is a win-win for me. But what's super interesting is that although we both had different ways and we do it differently than how we were trained, both ways worked for each of us. And that's the beauty of life, you guys, is that there are so many different ways to do one task in whatever way works for you is the right way for you. There is no one right way yeah, sure. to do anything. Sam and Gabby just picked up more hay today we're eating a lot more hay now that it's winter and we're buying hay we're picking up hay every two times a week now two times a week this is a half a week's worth of hay how is that possible that our horses are eating that much we're headed out to do some shopping i'm going to tell you guys what it's for it's something super exciting to me um but before we go i wanted us to shoot a video someone on on Snapchat suggested or requested this video. So we're gonna stop everything and shoot it right now and have, and so that I can post it. It's actually so cold today, but you guys know Baby Jack. Baby Jack, who's been on our channel several times. They live quite far, far enough that we don't get to see them every weekend or anything. Well, today is his fourth birthday. He's four. Baby Jack, Sam's trying to kill me. Holy moly. Wow, how come you didn't scream? Dad went up the hill. But it's true. Baby Jack is four and he's coming this weekend to celebrate his his birthday with us and we are going to go shopping and get him a special birthday present. I'm excited. I can't pick it out. Yeah. Sophie wants to pick it out. Like everybody, Jack is the kind of kid that everybody likes. He's just a gentle, sweet, intelligent, amazing soul. He's just loving and kind and sweet and it and he loves horses and his baby sister Aria loves horses and they are coming on the weekend to go riding with us and I'm excited. Okay, so Sophie wants this for Daisy. The only problem is it's on sale and it's a good sale. It's a clearance sale, but she would love this. She would not love that. She would have it so dirty. It would be dirty. It's light pink. I mean, that is really cute though. But I like the pink one better. Isn't it so cute? Daisy would love it. Daisy hates the cold. So we are here to find Jack a present. So when he was at my house at Christmas time, what he loved was these Spider-Man gloves. And they used to have Spider-Man gloves where you like shoot silly string out of them and that's what I'm looking for. Here's Rebecca dinosaur. just got eaten by a dinosaur. What? 
What is that? That's Iron cool. Man. Let me see. Bring it here. All right, though so they have an Iron Man gauntlet, but this is two hundred dollars, and it feels like there's nothing in it. Oh, you put it on your hand. But then they also have a forty-dollar version that's much heavier. Can you open the fingers? No. No, that's. You just punch just people. Yeah. Well, I don't want to encourage punching. What's that? It's a mask and a You could be Spider Girl. Oh, look, there's a Spider Man guitar. What's that? That. How do I turn it off? What are those? Lightsabers. Lightsabers. I, I actually hate shopping for kids Swords. because you can never know what they want. How about we get them a skateboard? Look at these, slacker swing line. That's really cool. Can you guys see what it is? It's just these string swings and you attach them to anything. Attach them between two trees, that's cool. So uh, Sophie found a TikTok find and she had to have it even though we were searching for Jacob. Jack. Jack, baby Jack. Both of my grandsons are named starts with a Sometimes J. Sometimes you call me Gabby. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just she's, not good. She's bad. I got a bad memory from you. Yeah, it's genetic. Anyway, the dogs are all thinking that they got something. Okay. But what did you get? I got a magnetic pen thing. So let's show them what it does. Oh I fell coming up the stairs. I don't know if I you can see. It. Yeah. Dropped everything. I Smashed it. I my hands. It. Okay. So it comes with three ink refills. And then... This is the pen. Oh, oh crap. Oh, no. And then, so you can use it as an actual pen. Or, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You take this out. I have to um, screw that. And then you can, like, move these around and stuff and make stuff. But what's really cool about this pen, let's speed it up, sister, is that it has... Hold on. You can make it into like a computer pen. You know how you use for your tablet or your phone? You use a special pen. Well, you can put these little nibs at the bottom. And there's they have this one. It's magnetic. And then... Can you take that one out? Oh my gosh. Okay. And then they have this bigger one too. So if you prefer like a pointy nib or like a fatter nib for your phone... You can do that. So that's super cool. I love it. Gabby got some anime stuff. In the store, Mom was like, uh, it's not that cool. And I was like, Mom, look how cool it is. She's like, uh, it's not that cool. And I don't know what you do the, the with these little balls. You make it into people. See? Okay. So I just want to show you guys. You can make like that guy. And on the back, there's a bunch of things that you can make. It is a TikTok find that Sophie found and is happy about. Um, so I ended up getting Baby Jack. It is pa just past Christmas. They hardly had any toys. We went to like three stores. Um, so I ended up getting him a game. It's this shark bite game. You try and take all these little bugs out of the shark or all these little fish out of the shark and try not to get bitten. So that's a game. We're going to play it with him on uh, when he comes this weekend to celebrate his birthday. And then I bought him this air rocket. Because this is something that has always been big in our house. And this one lights up. And it's super cool, actually. I bought Jacob one of these a few years ago for Christmas. And I love them. I think he will really like it. You step on the end, stomp on it. And kind of, we always used to have races to see who could shoot their rocket highest. So, that's, that's what I got him. January birthdays are the hardest birthdays for me to shop for. Because the kids have just gotten a bunch of stuff for Christmas. And then they take away all the Christmas toys. And you're left with just a few things. I should actually try and buy his present every year in December. When there's a ton of toys out. And keep it aside for his birthday in January. If you have a birthday that's in January. Comment below. How, how does it work for you? Do you usually get something really cool? Do you usually get something that was on your Christmas list. That you didn't get for Christmas? How does it work for you? Don't you know that you're beautiful?